Did you know that there's a piece of Europe embedded right within the heart of Africa? Yes, that's right. This fascinating region is known as Kota, a tiny Spanish enclave on the northern tip of Morocco. It's a place where two continents, two cultures and two histories intertwine in a unique dance. Now, let's delve into the pages of history to understand how this European influence found its way deep into African soil. The tale begins in the 5th century when the Vandals, a Germanic people, captured this region. Fast forward a few centuries and we find the Portuguese laying claim to Ceuta in 1415, marking the start of the Age of Discovery. But the Portuguese reign was not to last forever. In the late 16th century, King Sebastian of Portugal perished in battle, leaving no heir to his throne. This led to a dynastic crisis allowing King Philip II of Spain to seize the throne and with it, the possession of Ceuta. Since then, this tiny speck of land has remained under Spanish rule, a small piece of Europe tucked away in Africa. The influence of Europe in Africa didn't stop at Ceuta though. It spread all across the continent, shaping its history, culture and even its geography. The scramble for Africa, a period of rapid colonization by European powers during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, further solidified the European footprint on African soil. From the Portuguese in Angola and Mozambique to the British in Kenya, Nigeria and South Africa and the French in Algeria, Mali and Senegal. European powers established colonies across the length and breadth of Africa. They brought with them their languages, their religions, their systems of governance and their cultural practices, all of which have left indelible marks on the continent. But it's not just a one-way street. Africa has also profoundly impacted Europe. African art, music, food and fashion have permeated European societies, enriching them with their vibrant colors, tantalizing flavors and rhythmic beats. In summary, we've journeyed through time, exploring the intertwined histories of Europe and Africa. We've discovered the unique enclave of Ceuta, a European outpost in Africa, and we've traced the path of European influence across the continent. We've seen how European powers have shaped Africa's history, culture and geography, and how Africa, in turn, has left its mark on Europe. In the end, Europe and Africa are not just two separate continents. They are two sides of the same coin, two threads woven together in the rich tapestry of history. This beautiful duality, this unique relationship, is a testament to the interconnectedness of our world, a world where borders blur and cultures meld, creating a fascinating mosaic of human civilization.